Welcome to Out and About. Now, leading up to the UAE's 41st National Day, we've got a very special episode lined up for you. Starting off with a unique tour of Alain as we explore the childhood home of the late Sheikh Zayed Al Nahyan. To an interesting shopping experience at Alain Camel Market. We're out and about in the UAE. Garden City of Alain, meeting a man who's known for not only photographing and blogging about this beautiful city, but also showing tourists like us all of the city's hotspots. Born and raised in Alain City, Amron's family have settled here since 1968, and today he's meeting us at the gorgeous Alain Oasis to tell us why he calls it home. We are on the Alain Oasis, the largest oasis we have in Alain. You are talking about 1,200 hectares. 1,200 hectares of plantation, which I would say between 80 up to 100 date palms we have in this oasis. Oh. Alain Oasis, you are talking about more than 3,000 years old. 3, it's years. that old. We will head to the Camel Market. Okay. All right. Where, I'm Let's following go. you. You are the guide. All right. I'll take you to oh, the Camel man. Market and you will love it. Nice. You will love it. A souk like no other. We did quite a bit of research on Alain's famous camel market before heading down there, but nothing could really prepare us for this. Amra, I get the feeling you can't come to a place like this without knowing how to negotiate. Yeah, oh, <laughs> definitely. You have so, to negotiate. How much does a camel like this cost you? Usually, actually, this is, we have more than different kind of camels. Okay. We have for the producing, we have for the breeding, and we have for the races. The ones that in the front of us, these are the ones for producing or breeding. Okay. This is a female and the price can be from 2,000 till 20,000. If you are looking for camels, then definitely this is the right place for you to come here. Do you want camels for breeding, for producing, for races? This is the only place that to come in here. You will find the greatest kind of camels in Alain City. Al Jahidi Fort is not only one of the most historic buildings and largest forts in the UAE, but it's also a symbol of power and control. The fort also houses a permanent exhibition of the work of the British explorer Sir Wilfred Fissinger, officially known as Mubarak bin London. I mean, this has got such an amazing that energy. Is. Right? It is so nice. So what was this fort actually designed for then? This first, the, the Jahili Fort, it's the largest port in the UAE. Wow. It was with the Zaid I who created and built the fort on 1891. Probably took him about seven years till, nine, till 1898. He finished. So it was really very important for the UAE, for the tribes, even for outside the tribes. So no one lives here, right? No one lives here right now. No one lives here. Unfortunate that is no one lives here, but I would like to live in here. <laughs> so God, I mean, if I'll have a Wi-Fi, something to tweet, <laughs> I'm in, man. That's cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely day. Had a great time. Me too. Me too. Done so much today, but I think it's time to go. But we'll come back though, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, we still haven't been to Hilly Fun City. There's tons more to do. Hilly Fun City? All right, done. That's definitely on the list. All right. So after the break, we're going to come back and we're going to be getting festive this National Day. And don't forget about our prizes. You do not want to miss out on these. Mm-mm. <laughs> After the break. After the break, your chance to win our Mega National Day Pride hamper. Coming up after these messages. Welcome back to Out and About. Now we are just moments away from blinging up your screens. We are indeed. We're here visiting the pros at VIP Touch Design and sampling out just about anything and everything in celebration of the UAE's 41st National Day. Yep, so let's go 
check it out. National Day is just a couple of days away, and here at VIP Touch Design, one of the UAE's leading customization centers, everyone is busy hard at work decorating cell phones, cars, even laptops, all in a patriotic effort to celebrate the Emirates turning one year older. So, Sam, good to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So, VIP Touch Design, what sort of things do you actually design here? We design cars, accessories, interior, exteriors, Mobiles, everything about everything. design. Everything <laughs> about design. What would you say is the biggest and the craziest thing that you decorated? We decorated this car last year, and this year we add a little bit more touches. And it was the most expensive decorated car last year. Really? It's Swarovski, more than 200 stone of Swarovski. And how long will it take? Actually, it takes like two and a half weeks. So, how much would something like that actually cost? It cost uh, like 150,000 dirhams. Okay. So you could design something special for me for National Day? Sure, we will do it. Yeah? If you want. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Now I want to get a little inside scoop on some of these projects, but everyone here is seriously busy, hard at work. So maybe I can give them a little of an incentive to take a short break with these National Day cupcakes from Kitsch. Let's see if it works. Hello. So Annika, you're one of the designers here. What are you working on for the upcoming National Day? For National Day, we are working on car designs, foil, crystal, mobile covers, anything. So do the customers, when they come to you, do they have a design in mind or do you come up with it? Um, most of the time, they don't have idea. So I give the idea and uh, I make a, a plan by my hand. And uh, if they like it, I can make it uh, from crystal or foil, anything. So how long can some of these projects take? Like, the, uh, does it take weeks yeah. sometimes? Sometimes weeks, it, of course, it depends from the size of the design. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a full car crystal design, it takes weeks. So sometimes I have to work <laughs> day and night. <laughs> but uh, small designs, a um, few hours only. It takes few hours. And of course, VIP Touch Design adheres to the official guidelines issued by the Ministry of Interior for car decorations. All right, Wadina and I check out the goods and get some of our own accessories decked out for the big day. Why don't you check out this week's top five movies? Look at this one. Here are the top five movies this week. In at number five is The Collection, following a story of a man who escapes from a serial killer only to go back and rescue an innocent girl from the killer's booby-trapped warehouse after being blackmailed by her father. You gotta help us find Elena. You're the only person to see the inside of this hotel and live. It's built like a maze, the whole place is ripped. Actions of Iran have shocked the civilized world. Directed by and starring Ben Affleck, Argo follows a dramatization of the 1980 joint CIA-Canadian secret operation to extract six fugitive American diplomatic personnel out of revolutionary Iran. We're responsible for these people. I'm responsible. Bollywood Who Done It, starring Amir Khan, Rani Mukherjee, and Karina Kapoor, follows a cop, a housewife, and an escort who get entangled in a mystery that links their lives in unexpected ways. Book your tickets in advance for this star studded murder mystery in at number three. I'm gonna fight. Anybody who wants to join is welcome to it. 
we'll hit them on our terms. A group of teenagers look to save their town as the United States is under a major attack from North Korean soldiers armed with a new class of weapon. I can. Yes, you can. Relax. And squeeze. freedom. Now it's up to all of us to fight for it. Why me? You have something very special inside. And we can't do it without you. Let's go! And at number one comes Rise of the Guardian. When the evil spirit Pitch launches an assault on Earth, the immortal guardians team up to protect the innocent of children all around the world. I'm not afraid of you. We stand together. You take the ones on the left, I'll take the ones on the right? Wings up and take no prisoners! Come on! Here we go! Got my gadgets all decked out, looking good. What you got, Dean? Isn't this impressive? That is good. Look at that, it's cool, right? Mm -hmm. We're doing it with pride. <laughs> and after the break, we go behind the scenes at the FAI World Parachuting Championships Mondial 2012. And I know we're a couple of days early, but Lane and I do have to say... Happy 41st, 41st National Day. Day! After the break, we talk to the UAE national teams as they get their gear on for the FAI World Parachuting Championships Mondial 2012. And we go back in time to 1975 to Faulty Towers right after these messages. Welcome back to Out and About. Lane and I are here at Skydive Dubai ahead of the second FAI World Parachuting Championships Mondial 2012 happening this weekend. Yes, and trust me, there is so much happening here at this massive skydiving event. We all want you to be a part of it. So let's go see what's happening. That's right, this weekend Dubai plays host to showcase the world's top professionals in one event. Running from the 28th of November to the 9th of December, this event combines every element of the skydiving discipline in multiple world championships, with around 1,600 of the world's best flyers from 57 countries to show us mere mortals how to take a fall in style. So I'm here with Abdul Aziz, who's part of the male skydiving team. So Abdul, man, how long have you been actually training for this event? Actually, we have been trained for uh, two years and a half. Well, we have been in many competitions all over the world, like America and Singapore, Spain, many world we trained well. And uh, we, ha we wish to do all our best in this competition. And we have a hope that we will do good. So what sort of training do you have to do to prepare for an event like this? Actually, it's all about uh, mental training. Like you should focus more on thinking and uh, we do it in the ground in the creepers. That makes it easy for us to remember. And all the time you should be focused and not like distracted about others. You should just be focused on the jump. Think about it. You don't want to do any mistake up there. Yeah. So how does the um the, the categories work in, in terms of judging? What 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 do you get judged on? Uh, actually there is like many rules. Uh, first of all it's about timing. You have like 35 seconds since you exit and uh, you can't like grab two groups in one time and you should like show some separation between the group. So, uh, so what does someone have to do to become a part of the UAE team? Uh, actually they, they must be from uh, UAE national and uh, they must be healthy and uh, people who love sport and the most important thing, not fat people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I think I might qualify for that. And look, I've got my top. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, man, I think I'm ready, it. man. I'm ready, yeah? <laughs> Let's go, jump nice that. Right, all right, cool, bro. <laughs> Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Dubai's Crown Prince and Chairman of the Dubai Executive Council, and an avid skydiver himself, he has been training with the national parachuting teams personally to make sure that Team UAE has what it takes to stick the landing.
Lane, you're looking awfully proud of yourself. Did you uh, make the cut to the national team or something? Dina, Dina, Dina. Let me tell you something about Lane Redman. I'm a leader, not a follower, a flyer, not a faller. That means no. Yeah, you're right. No, I didn't make it. <laughs> well, hopefully one of us will get to make it out to this parachuting paradise one day. Mm. In the meantime, it's been a little too energetic, too much adrenaline. I'm ready to just chill out for just a little bit. Man, this is cool, man. You want to chill? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, if you want to chill, I've actually got the perfect place. Oh. Spa, mani-pedi, dinner, cafe. Forget all that, man. It's much better than that. I'm taking you to the English Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be taking her to Forty Tower. And while we make our way there, why don't you guys check out what else is happening around town this week? And don't forget to text into our prizes because we are spreading the National Day Pride. Here's what else you need to watch out for this week. After rounds one and two at the Bahrain International Circuit, the Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge Middle East comes to the UAE next weekend. Don't miss the premier regional motorsport event at the Yas Marina Circuit. The only vocalist in history to get seven Grammy Awards in three different categories is coming to Dubai to perform live. Al Jiro at the Jumeirah Beach Hotel. The third edition of the Golf Super Sixes gives a chance for local talents to play with cricketing legends. The top eight teams will have an international cricketing legend mentor and compete with the players for an opportunity to win the prestigious Golf Super Sixes Cup. Held under the patronage of Her Royal Highness Princess Haya bint al Hussein, wife of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, the Omega Dubai Ladies Master is the first full ladies European tour event ever to be played in the Middle East at the Emirates Golf Club. The Mother, Baby and Child Show is the only comprehensive exhibition for the nursery industry in the Middle East. Don't miss the three action-packed days at Dubai World Trade Center from the 6th to the 8th of December. The World Parachuting Championship closing ceremony is set to have superstars Katy Perry and Usher performing live at the Maidan Racecourse, along with a victory parade and a very special fireworks display. On Out and About this week, we're going National Day crazy. A 500 dirham box worth of delicious fruits dipped in Belgium chocolate courtesy of Chocomelt. Passes for three adults and three children to visit Emirates Park Zoo. A specially themed National Day bag designed by Ragmataz. A Seco clutch, a Burka Valdez t-shirt and a canvas courtesy of Valdez. A voucher for 24 National Day cupcakes courtesy of Kitsch Cupcakes. A voucher to bling your things worth 1,000 dirhams at VIP Touch Design. Two tickets to the FAI World Parachuting Championships closing ceremony with Katy Perry and Usher live in Dubai. Two tickets to Al Jiro live in Dubai. Five couple passes for premium area at the Golf Super Sixes 2012. Two tickets to the Omega Dubai Ladies Masters Hospitality at the Emirates Golf Club. A Pampers gift hamper worth a thousand dirhams and 10 VIP tickets to the Mother, Baby and Child Show. All you need to do is SMS OA1 to your country code on the info page. If you live in the UAE, just SMS it to 4351. You know, Dee, when I was back in school in England, Forty mm. Towers was one of my favorite TV shows. And you know, they only made 12 episodes. I actually did not know that, but pretty cool. I'm quite a fan of British dry humor too, and I'm wondering how these actors are gonna play out these characters. I know, it's gonna be very, <laughs> very funny, man. Come on, let's go, I'm All excited, right. I'm excited. Thank you so much. Thank Lovely to have you here. We're going to be serving you some delicious food today for lunch. Are you hungry? Oh, we're, we're very Good. Ah. Basil! Basil! Um, hi, Basil. Welcome to Dubai. Are you proud to be running your own restaurant here? Uh, yes, it's uh, actually a delight to be here running our own restaurant, sort of showing people how it can be done. 
we're gearing it at an upper class, really. Uh, no riffraff. Uh, culinary delight. So how have your customers here been so far? Oh, oh, absolute delight. We've had sheiks, royalty, princes, doctors, Rotarians, some riffraff, and that's my wife's doing. <laughs> Allows any old rubbish to wander in off the street. Is this going to take long, or...? Um, no, sorry, just one last question, if that's okay. Uh, on that note, Basil, why are you so unpleasant to deal with? I've been kind of wondering this this whole time since I stepped through the door. I haven't started with you yet. <laughs> ah, thank you so much for uh, dining with us, uh, or joining us on our little culinary soiree this evening. Some fresh soup for you. So, well, that's great hair you've got there. You know, what kind of advice do you have for long-suffering wives out there? Oh, thank you very much. Very kind of you. Well, for other wives out there in my predicament, I think spending time by yourself is very important. I like to spend time with my friend Audrey. I like to go and play golf. And, of course, I like to shop like us girls do. <laughs> Tell him to look for them. We've looked, Basil. Oh, brilliant. Um, I'm terribly sorry about this. Uh, may I? Seems like Chef has lost something. Oh. Terribly sorry. The <laughs> soup should be largely unaffected. That. He does floss regularly. But that, that is actually the first time that's ever happened. Yes, I'll sort this out. Terribly sorry about that. It's the first time that's ever happened. Never happened before. Ter terribly sorry about <laughs> Sybil. What are you doing? Where are you Basil? taking those? Yeah, well, Basil, you just pulled them out with fresh, with false teeth in. But that's fresh. It's unhygienic. Besides, the chef only has to open another tin. You know, like, now that our um, stay here at the Faulty Towers has come to an end, I have to admit, I really did not like that hotel manager. <laughs> <laughs> Basil Faulty is definitely a piece of work. Mm -hmm. What an experience, eh? Yeah. Right. Never had anything like that before. <laughs> Well, our show is now coming to an end, but before we go, we want to leave you with the latest version of our Spot the Landmark competition. Last week, we gave you a clue, a riddle, to know which famous landmark in UAE that we'll be visiting. And it went a little something like this. It's a skyscraper which costs over a billion of green paper. It's also tall, it's near a mall, and has made world records like the Great Wall. It stands amongst the clouds and continues to bring in the crowds. Now, we had some really funny, crazy answers. <laughs> but the smart cookies out there knew exactly what we were talking about. The world's tallest freestanding structure. With the highest observation deck in the entire world. The, the Burj, Burj Khalifa. Khalifa. If you get the answer correctly, log on to our Facebook page, facebook.com, out and about DSP, to see if you're this week's winner. Mm -hmm. Now, we're off to another famous landmark in the UAE now. But before we go, we've got another riddle for you. We do indeed, and it starts off with... It's on an island in popular demand. Known for having sharks, dolphins, and an aquarium stand. A resort so big, it's like an underwater Disneyland. Mm. So if you know what we're <laughs> talking about, go onto our Facebook page, and you can win yourself a Porsche mouse and loads of other goodies. Good luck, but that's it for this week on Out and About. See ya! Peace.